And on the pension side, think about this. For the state PFRS program, when I stood before you in September 2010, it was funded at 51%. 51% of the money that was going to be needed to pay its obligations. Now, two years later, and just a little bit over a year since reform, it's up to 60%. For the local PFRS program, it was sitting at 69% when we met in September two years ago. Today it's sitting at 77%. Now, without the reforms, we would have never gotten there. With the reforms, we now know that we are on a real path to making sure that everybody in police and fire who is entitled to a pension, who's earned a pension, is going to be able to collect that pension. And as we move closer, only 3% away now on the local side from 80% funding, which is the target that we have to hit, once we get to 80%, then we've established a board of firefighters and government officials who can then vote to reinstitute cost of living adjustments to those pensions once we get to 80%. This year in our budget, we're, putting, we're making a $1.1 billion payment to the pension funds in the state. It's the single largest payment any governor has made in the history of the state. It represents 3.5% of the entire state budget, and it's a promise that we made as part of reform, and it's a promise that we're keeping as part of reform to make sure that we pay, as the state taxpayers, their fair share when we're asking you to pay your fair share as well. That's the deal we made, and that's the deal I'm going to keep.